We've met many villains throughout the Despicable Me franchise, with the latest installment bringing all the villains from every entry together at the end. With all eyes turned to the future and the possibility of Despicable Me 5, we can't help but wonder, is it possible that this time, Drew will be the villain? The 2010 release of Despicable Me marked the beginning of the franchise's growth into a multimedia behemoth centered on the renovated supervillain Gru and his army of cuddly yellow goons. Given that every Every mainline entry and offshoot was proven to be financially lucrative for Illumination, the odds of the franchise resuming in another sequel are rather high. The director discusses the prospects for Despicable Me 5 in the most recent news, following the immediate success of Despicable Me 4. Chris essentially agrees that the franchise has been smashing movie office records is far from over. He also stated that a Despicable Me 5 was definitely possible when questioned about it, although he was quick to clarify that it would rely on how well the movie script was written. Despicable Me 4 took the franchise into previously uncharted narrative terrain, so the follow-up will have to follow suit. Plot-wise, the film begins when Gru finds that Maxime has invented a gadget that transforms humans into hybrid cockroaches, and he targets Gru Jr. as a high school prank. To save Gru Jr., Gru and his henchmen join the Anti-Villain League and receive superpowers from AVL director Silas Ramsbottom. Sadly, the scheme is abandoned since the Mega Minions cause too much property damage. After moving to a new town, Gru and his family get to know their new neighbors. Among them is Poppy Prescott, a would-be supervillain who looks up to Gru. Ultimately, Poppy and Gru band together to save Gru Jr. right before Maxime brainwashes the infant and turns him into a cockroach. In the closing moments of the film, Gru's twin brother Drew makes a quick, silent cameo alongside several other characters, including including Dr. Nefario. Felonist Gru's twin brother, Drew, Gru, made his film debut in Despicable Me 3 and was a major player in the suspenseful conclusion of the film. Known for his flowing blonde hair, all white clothes and upbeat demeanor, Drew hopes to follow in his brother's footsteps and become a supervillain. Drew, however, is a far happier, friendlier, and more gargarious character than his perpetually miserable sibling. Though he is kind-hearted, Drew swears to carry on his father and brother's sinister ways by acting wickedly, which frequently backfires with absurdly awkward consequences. Despicable Me 3 concludes with Drew and Gru reconciling following their argument about family legacy. Finally accepting Drew as his brother and fellow villain, Gru unifies the entire family as a team of supervillains. To maintain his status as supervillain, Drew persuades his minions to support him, and together they steal Gru's airship and set off. The cliffhanger for Gru and Lucy's future pursuit of Drew and the minions is set up. Fans anticipated see more of Drew in Despicable Me 4 given his significant storyline in the film. Instead, when other people were shown in Gru's backyards towards the conclusion, Drew only makes a fleeting appearance. Even though Drew makes a silent cameo appearance in Gru's backyard towards the end of the movie, one has to ask why he doesn't have a more significant role in Despicable Me 4. The authors probably found it challenging to incorporate Drew more fully because of the events in the highest grossing cartoons franchise's history, albeit there's no hard and fast solution. The plot of Despicable Me 3 is not immediately continued in this movie. Instead, the story takes place a year later, so Drew may take the time to pursue other endeavors. Making Steve Carell portray double personalities vocally demanding is another their approach, but being able to bring Gru to life takes a lot of work, especially when doing so over several films. Thus, it's possible that Steve Carell found continuing to voice Gru and Drew to be too demanding. Assuming for the time being, Gru is a father rather than a brother, this is the most plausible explanation for Drew's absence. Screenwriters naturally shifted to offer Gru a more sustainable, familial struggle after he made amends with Drew and found peace with his 
his brother in Despicable Me 3. Gru can take care of Gru Jr., his biological child, because Drew isn't there. Gru accepted his sibling in the last movie. Gru's blood links with Drew naturally extend to Drew as a replacement, even though the adopted minions stay the same. To further illustrate Gru's gradual metamorphosis from a heartless villain to a loving and caring family guy, new characters Poppy, Maxime, and Valentina heightened their parental tension. Drew's assistance to his brother is no longer required after Maxime makes Gru move the minions to a different town. Although the reason behind Drew's decreased position in Despicable Me 4 to a glorified cameo is unclear to discern, his final appearance suggests that he may make a cameo in more of the pricey Illumination films. Drew may return to the Despicable Me franchise to assist Gru in developing his duties as a brother, parent, and caregiver if Corel is ready to reprise his dual roles and the writers craft a meaningful story. It could be something entirely different though. Drew is Gru's well-meaning but occasionally foolish twin brother in the Despicable Me universe. On the other hand, all of this might be a devious plot device meant to position Drew as the surprise antagonist in Despicable Me 5. Deep-seated animosity may be simmering beneath the surface, even though Drew adores Gru. While Drew felt neglected and underappreciated, Gru managed his father's pig farm, and Drew grew up in the shadow of his lucrative profession as a villain. Drew might eventually turn darker due to his envy and his need to establish himself as a supervillain. Maybe beneath Drew's witty and awkward exterior is a man with ulterior motives. He might have spent years methodically constructing his own character, picking up lesson from Gru's failures and plotting his ascent to become a supervillain. Drew may have gathered information, allies, and resources without raising any red flags by being innocent. Drew may have plans to overthrow Gru to establish his dominance and exact revenge for always living in his brother's shadow. In Despicable Me 5, Drew subtly manipulates the story from behind the scenes while arranging for things to seem as though a new antagonist has emerged. Unaware of his brother's actual motivations, Gru might be tricked into falling into a hazardous trap. Despicable Me 5's finale might include a fierce brawl between the brothers. Gru would have to face the fact that his brother has changed into the very person he used to be, despite having put his evil ways behind him to prioritize his family. Gru's love for his brother might be put to the test along with his strength in this confirmation, making for an intensely moving story. With Gru Jr. now in the mix, Drew's emotions of inadequacy and envy may intensify over time, especially after witnessing Gru's success as a villain and then a hero. Although Drew's attempts at intimidating his brother have mainly been comical and pointless, the introduction of Gru Jr. might worsen those feelings. Gru Jr. may be seen by Drew as the heir apparent, excluding Drew in the process. A desperate yearning for approval may have led to Drew's kidnapping of Gru Jr. He may think that by capturing his nephew, he will be able to establish himself as a supervillain and get the attention he has always yearned for. Drew might see this as his opportunity to finally overshadow Gru and demonstrate that he is a capable villain in his own right. Oh, there's my boy! It's also possible that Drew has well-intended and not completely malevolent motives. Drew may think that he is genuinely preserving the family legacy by taking Gru Jr. hostage. He might be worried that Gru's more notable root might corrupt his nephew and pull him away from Drew's evil lineage. Drew might interpret the kidnapping via his twisted logic as a means of teaching Gru Jr. about the true purpose of their family. However, Drew might not be working alone. There is a chance that a new antagonist will trick Drew into thinking that the only way he can succeed is by capturing Gru Jr. by preying on Drew's fears and aspirations. This villain may get him to do something he might not have done otherwise. Gru will encounter an obstacle unlike any other that he had experienced as a loving father. Gru puts his skills to the test when his own brother abducted his son, making him face his troubled history 
with Drew, as well as his past as a corrupt person. Gru has to deal with the hurt of betrayal while attempting to save his son, which raises the emotional stakes in the story. The moment when Drew realizes how serious his acts are might serve as the film's finale. Drew might have a dramatic moment of redemption as he starts to realize his mistakes as Gru confronts him. Alternatively, Drew might intensify his evil trajectory, paving the way for a more nuanced and conflicted brotherly dynamic in subsequent chapters. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.